two FRC Smart 35 airframes, but with different motors. Let's have a look at these. One you see on the bottom here is the Aeos 1603, that's a 2800 kV motor. And the one on the top here is the iFlight Zing 1504, 3100 kV motor. This one here is my daily flyer for four and a, uh, three and a half inch freestyle. But what we're going to look at today is the Aeos motor you see on the bottom here. It's a little bit wider and a little bit shorter stator. And the stator volume is actually a little bit less than the iFlight Zing motor. So basically, we're going to do a very simple test. I'm just going to take this out, give it a fly, and tell you what I think of it. Okay, so here we are with the ADOS 1603. These are the 2800 kilovolt motors. So I'm just going to compare these to my standard 3.5 inch motors, uh, which is the iFlight Zing. 1504 3100 kilowatt motors so these motors of course by state of volume are less powerful now i've already put a few packs through here so i'm just going to talk you through it if i come through here if i do a bit of a punch out here i'm on the throttle off and there's the apogee there so i can say that we're, we're not getting as much flight uh, airtime not getting as much airtime uh, with these motors and you'd expect that being less powerful and also being lower kilovolt so with these motors, I'm holding the throttle on more to get up there and not getting as much uh, air time. Okay, but having said that, of course, you know, you have to fly these motors a little bit differently. They're actually very smooth and I really like the feel of these motors, actually. If you're doing smooth flowing freestyle, then these motors are going to be a good choice. You don't get that ballistic speed. That you get with the higher kv motors but what you do get is really good resolution in the throttle and really good throttle response okay so if i just fly around here a little bit and uh we'll just cut to the end of the video and we'll see what sort of flight time we're actually getting here and of course we're going to get a lot better flight time uh being, being a little bit less powerful motors but i am doing the same sort of freestyle maneuvers here and of course to do so using the same amount of energy so i'm expecting that um what we're going to see is these motors are actually also a little bit more efficient okay let's cut to the end of the video okay so here we are at the end of the flight and you can see the the cell voltage there is pushing uh 3.6 3.7 3.6 so i normally i normally land when the cell voltage the average cell voltage gets to 3.6 and what have we got? 5.5 uh, 5 minutes 58, 6 minutes. So a 6 minute flight there, which is not too bad at all. And these motors are giving a good long flight time. And I feel a little bit more efficient than the iFlight Zing motors. So there we go. The Alios 1603 2800 kilovolt motors. Not as powerful, but super smooth and very efficient. So which one am I going to choose? To be honest, I think both of these are going straight in my backpack.